A British ship on its maiden voyage to America slams into a huge object and sinks. 2012 marks a milestone anniversary. We're not talking about the Titanic. As Roger Weber reports, there was another ship that sank right here in Detroit. Metro Detroiters over a certain age remember vividly what happened 50 years ago next week, right under the Ambassador Bridge, the sinking of the Montrose. The British vessel was bringing grapes, brass, statues, and other cargo to the Great Lakes. Its journey abruptly ended on a foggy evening, July 30th, 1962. Joel Stone is senior curator for the Detroit Historical Society. The pilot ordered the boat to be moved out into the river. He missed the fact that there was a, a large barge and a small tug coming right at him. The barge was hauling 1,600 tons of cement chunks. No one was hurt, but the Montrose was doomed. Montrose took a 42-foot long gash along the port side near the bow, which immediately filled with water. And because the bow went down, it pulled the rudder and the propeller right out of the water. She rolled over and settled to the bottom. On the first day, 40,000 spectators gawked on the Detroit side of the river. Others watched from the bridge, their own boats, or the Boblo boats. Dave Koss of Rochester recalls the words of a Boblo captain. Warning the people not to go to one side of the boat because that would for or cause the Boblo boat to list very severely. The Montrose captain gave a ship's bell to Detroit as a thank you for the hospitality. One local, though, wasn't so nice. Chucky O'Brien, who was tight with Jimmy Hoffa, was convicted of stealing some of the Montrose cargo from a warehouse. And they threw in three waterlogged accordions. Nobody's quite sure why. Why would you steal an accordion? The Montrose stayed in the river for over three months while salvage crews tried to save her. They brought in all kinds of real heavy-duty gear, closed up the hole, uh, swung it back in the right, pumped it out. The Montrose was finally raised and towed from the Detroit River on November 10, 1962. That would become a famous anniversary for another Great Lakes nautical disaster, the sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald. In Detroit, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4. I didn't know anything about that. Nor one. I. It's a little before our time yes. here. Uh, if you have a taste for...